Hello, this is Dr. Linda Martinez-Louis. I want to speak with you about empaths, narcissistic personalities, and healing. Empaths are unique individuals who need to be understood and valued in our narcissistic society today. The empath is the opposite of the narcissist. They are born highly sensitive and intuitive. Some of them are psychic and can foretell future events. They are misunderstood and labeled as strange, odd, psychologically disturbed, even spoiled, and difficult. Empaths experience life on the deepest and most subtle levels. They are like rare, finely tuned instruments. Their senses are heightened. They see and hear everything and remember the tiniest detail of what happened to them. Some empaths have been severely traumatized as young children and have repressed memories of emotional and psychological cruelties that they have endured. Some empaths are born into narcissistic families, narcissistic mothers, fathers, siblings. Growing up for them is very difficult and painful. No one in the family understands them. They are often placed in the role of scapegoat. When something goes wrong, mistakes are made, or the children are imperfect, the empath is blamed and punished. Repeated punishments can cause deep, chronic trauma in the young empath. They suffer horribly, feel very alone and abandoned. They grow up unprotected and unsupported emotionally and psychologically. Empaths have heightened perceptions of hearing, seeing, and imagination. They observe on a microscopic level. They pick up the psychological vibrations of other human beings quickly and have a visceral reaction to them. They instantly know untold secrets an individual is concealing. When they share this information with others, the empath is not believed. They are often criticized and ostracized for their extraordinary gifts of perception and deep understanding of other human beings. They know the truth with a capital T and are mistreated for revealing it. Impasse appeal to narcissistic personalities because of their extraordinary capacities to both give and forgive repeatedly at their expense. They are selfless, always watching out for others, and not self-protective. They didn't learn to take good care of themselves as young children and continue this pattern as adults. It is essential that they develop a strong sense of self-love and self-care as adults in order to embrace their birthright as wonderful, unique individuals. Empaths suffer a severe pattern of psychological and emotional abuse when married to narcissistic personalities. I have seen this happen too many times. They are particularly victimized by the narcissist's fits and projections of volcanic rage, outrageous demands, constant manipulations, chronic malicious lies, dark dualities, and betrayals. I have heard so many painful life stories of empaths whose lives were shattered by their marriages to narcissistic personalities. They are worn down, exhausted, pulled apart, and left abandoned and undone. Some of them suffer from chronic illnesses like adrenal fatigue. Adrenal fatigue develops over a period of time and leaves the individual in a state of continuous exhaustion, depression, anxiety, and you name so many horrible symptoms, feelings of despair. Those who rise out of these highly painful syndromes through their determination, courage, and knowledge get well and become strong and vital again. It is essential that empaths recognize that they deserve to lead a rich, 
full life filled with creativity, the unbounded gifts of nature, healing, loving relationships, and spiritual evolution. The essential daily steps to recovery and renewal are sleep, rest, create, eat well, hydrate, love, kindness, equanimity. I wish you the very best in all of your healing efforts. And remember to put yourself first.